President Donald Trump declared a national emergency on February 15 in order to free up funds to build his desired wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. Democrats were quick to say they would take action in response saying the president was undermining Congress's power of the purse as laid out in the Constitution. On Tuesday, Democrats in the House of Representatives voted for a joint resolution to block the declaration, which Trump said he would veto. Some Republicans have also expressed unease with the national emergency declaration. Here are the 13 GOP members of the House of Representatives who broke with Trump on Tuesday. President Donald Trump declared a national emergency on February 15 in order to free up funds to build his desired wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. Democrats were quick to say they'd take action in response saying that the president was undermining Congress's power of the purse as laid out in the U.S. Constitution. On Tuesday, Democrats in the House of Representatives voted for a joint resolution to nullify the declaration and more than a dozen attorneys general filed a lawsuit against the president. However, Democrats are not the only ones who were wary of a national emergency declaration. Both before and after Trump declared the national emergency, Republicans worried that it would set a precedent that future Democratic presidents could use to declare an emergency for something like climate change or gun violence. Many GOP lawmakers fell into step with the president, 182 Republicans voted against the resolution in the House, but there are some holdouts. Politico reports that if one more Republican joins Democrats and the three GOP senators who have said they'll vote for the resolution, it will pass and go to Trump for signature. Trump has said he will veto the legislation, setting up a potential attempt to override the veto with a two-thirds majority vote in each chamber of Congress. Here are the House Republicans who, along with Democrats, voted for the joint resolution to block Trump's national emergency declaration and the senators who have said they will vote for the resolution in the Senate.